Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, it's Ollie, and I'm back with another video. So today we're gonna be doing something uh, a little different. I'm going to be ranking the characters in Total Drama Island. Total Drama Island, it's like this big cartoon reality show where they have these cliche cartoon characters uh, compete for um, money. And they compete in all these challenges. There's a lot of drama, a lot of romance, pretty much like the show Survivor. And also, I'm really surprised I was ever able to see it because it's probably one of the most inappropriate cartoon shows. It's a Canadian show, so maybe that's why. There was um, lots of flashing, cursing, and um, I was definitely like eight. And we're not doing anything from Dilemma, Revenge of the Island, not that other spin-off. So we're gonna start, all right? Alejandro. Alejandro... They tried. Alejandro wasn't a terrible character. He was complex and interesting. He was just a bit of a womanizer, a manipulator, not someone we should support in 2020. So he's on They Tried because he's not bad. He's a good character but with bad traits. Next is Beth. I love Beth. I'm gonna give her honorable mention. Beth is so funny. She reminds me of me because we're both losers. In Total Drama Island, she didn't really get that much uh, development. In Total Drama Action, she really shined. I really liked her, but she's not elite because she's not the character carrying the show. Next, we have this lady. I know where she's from. She cute or whatever because she was kind of funny. Bridget. Ciao anyways. Bridget is boring. Total Drama Island, she was okay in. Total Drama Action, she literally was just known for making out with Jeff. And then Total Drama World Tour, she was just really whiny. I don't even know if she was likable. She was just kind of there. Chef. Chef, cute, she, he cute or whatever. He's just like kind of a comic relief. Well, they're all comic relief, it's a cartoon. He's funny. I like him. Chris McLean. He cute or whatever. He keeps the show afloat. He's like a great centered medium character. So he can't he's not too obnoxious, he's not too boring. He's in the middle. Cause he has to be in the middle. Cody. I'm an honorable mention. He wasn't really given a lot of time in Total Drama Island, but he was really funny in World Tour. And he actually gave him a lot of character development, which I was not expecting. He's not the character I look forward to. He's a character I enjoy. Courtney. Some of these characters are all well made, but Courtney is just not likable. We're gonna move on from Courtney. DJ, um, Chow anyways. He was, okay, I'm yelling, I'm yelling. Throughout the entire series, he was just known for being always anxious and always sad and always like, oh, I'm soft, like I can't kill this animal. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, oh my God, like, honey, that's boring. Duncan... Duncan's an honorable mention. It was fun to see him. He has some cool moments. Eva. I think she cute with Eva. Eva really got very little time in the show. But Eva is really funny. But she's not really funny. I look forward- I look forward to her. I look forward to Eva. Ezekiel. They tried. It's like it's unfair to give him chow anyways because like what did we really get to see of him? And uh... She was funny. We're laughing at him, not really with him. And then like, he was like, he turned into that weird mutant thing and he just sticked around the show for some strange reason. They never explained that, really concerning. Jeff, honorable mention. Okay, I used to not really like Jeff. I thought Jeff was like kind of flat. He, like, you should look forward to seeing Jeff. Jeff is a great guy. Harold, child anyways. This is a character that they gave a lot more time to. They gave him a lot more development. It just became annoying. He was like the annoying nerd who no one understood. And usually the nerd should be like, you know, likable to the audience. Like, oh my god, like why is everyone picking on him? I'm like, I get why he was picked on. He was so annoying. And he was like kind of stuck up. He really thought he was better than everyone. Heather is elite. Heather is elite. You can really can't go wrong with the mean girl type of character. You know why? What, what's so funny? Heather is like literally... Heather Chandler. Heather is so funny, whether she was getting her hair shaved off or whatever. I really hated that like, they kind of want us to not like Heather because she, like, she's like the mean girl, but like I love her. Izzy. Izzy's elite. Izzy is 
the craziest girl you'll ever see in Total Drama Island, Total Drama whatever. And that's really entertaining to see. Okay, Justin. Chell anyways. Justin got very little development in Total Drama Island. When he was brought back for Total Drama Action, I was excited. He just pretty much became a stuck up model. I didn't enjoy him. He was kind of like Alejandro, but Alejandro was at least a little bit better developed. Katie. And I also want to do Sadie right now. They tried. I don't really remember. I only remember when their butts got itchy and they had to sit in this, the water. Sadie lasted longer than Katie and then she went home the next day. Lashana. Lashana is elite. Lashana is the girl in charge. She is Queen B. She is so funny. She's so enjoyable. Full drama action got kind of scary because like low-key she was talking um, trash about everyone behind their backs. That wasn't a great moment for her, but I still love her either way. Lindsay. Elite. You really can't go wrong with like the dumb blonde stereotype. She's funny. Love her. Okay, the only thing I didn't agree about her character was that in Total Drama... Um... Total Drama... All Stars, she went home first for no reason. I'm gonna do Courtney now. I'm gonna give Courtney honorable mention. That's just because she was a really cool character, but she was kind of flat at times. She was kind of annoying too, because she was like really obnoxious about her, like her... She was a CET. Also, I realized that Gwen is not here. If we're gonna do Gwen, Gwen would be... They tried. Gwen got really whiny about Trent, whatever, and then Duncan. I'm like, girl, no, stop. I don't know why that she's not here. They have they have everyone else but Gwen. They have Mr. Co they have Coconut Head. Coconut Head was Owen's like friend when they got lost in that episode in Told Jam Island. She cute or whatever? Noah. They tried. I want to get to know Noah more from Told Drama Island. He came back for World Tour. They gave him a lot of development. Kind of flat. You know, it's like I knew what he was gonna say, I knew what he was gonna do. Like there wasn't really anything to him. Owen. Elite. You really can't hate Owen. Owen's really funny. There's some things that Owen had to do, or Owen did, that was so gross. I actually really was disgusted. But, you know, that makes him a great character. <laughs> Sierra. She cute or whatever. She joined the cast kind of late in the world tour. Her little thing was Cody got kind of old. I don't know, like there's not nothing special about it. Trent. Chell anyways. Trent was boring. Trent was weird. Trent was awkward. Trent reminds me of myself. He's just not that cool. Trent was only there to be the love interest of Gwen. You know what I'm saying? That was the only reason why he was there. On his own, he's not that special. Last but not least, Tyler. They tried. Tyler is not unlikable, but like, do I really remember a lot with Tyler? Literally the only thing that la that was special about Tyler was that Lindsay was just trying to remember his name. And that was like the running gag. And it was funny at first. I think that's all the characters. They should have added Gwen, but Gwen would be they tried because she was overused. That's all for this video. Hope you liked it. I just wanted to try something different. Tell me if you agree with my ranking. You probably will because I'm pretty much a total drama expert. Like, comment, subscribe, and like, um, go to my GoFundMe to send me to space. Alright, bye!